Welcome back everybody to Tragic MTG. It is time again for one of every master's set. We're gonna do iconic, whoops, eternal, modern 2013, modern 2017, 2015, modern horizons, ultimate masters and masters 25 to see if I can get the goods. Uh, I've done these several times. I feel like some really good stuff is still waiting in these packs. So here we go to test that theory. Get the goods. All right. Conic Masters. Got some good stuff in here, right? Got a Festering Newt. Can always use those. Got a Great Teacher's Decree. A Topan Freeblade. A Rakdos Carnarium. And a River of Tears. Nice little, is that a, I don't know, what kind of land do they call this? You guys tell me, I forget. Maybe, I didn't even ever know. <laughs> so River of Tears, you can tap it to add blue to your mana pool. If you play to land this turn, add black to your mana pool instead. Yeah, it's not a filtered land, it's not a tap land, it's not a shock land. What is this one? You guys tell me. And there's a doorkeeper, got a fibble thip. Pretty cool in foil. All right, and an angel token. There we go. Moving right along to Eternal Masters. Second thoughts? I'm having none about opening these packs. Tortoise Tragic Slip. That's me. Whoops. See there? Jungle Hollow. Uncommons, Mindless Automaton, Phyrexian Ingester, a Blood Artist, that's a winner in my book, love this card, and an Icarid. Let's pull this one to scan it later, we're gonna scan all these cards, in fact, it should have started scanning already. We'll do that now. An Icarid is a 3-1 creature horror for four, it's got haste at the beginning of your end step, sacrifice Icarid. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Icarid is in your graveyard, you may exile a black creature card other than Icarid from your graveyard. If you do, return Icarid to the battlefield. And a foil goblin charbelcher. That's pretty decent too. So it's a rare artifact for four. You can pay three and tap it to reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a land card. Goblin charbelcher deals damage equal to the number of non-land cards revealed this way to target creature or player. If you if the revealed land card was a mountain, Goblin Charbelcher deals double that damage instead. Put the revealed cards on the bottom of your library in any order. That was a lot of text. And a cool Goblin Soldier token. Alright, so I'm going to fire up the scanner, which I should have done before. We're going to scan my Blood Artist. But being 395, not too bad for an uncommon. Aristocrats enabler right there. Let's do the Icarid. Only 85 cents. A River of Tears. Only 99 cents. And I will a foil goblin charbelcher. Let's get it to see it first. There we go. As a foil, that card is a buck ninety-four. So we're on our way. To making our money back, we hope. We're gonna need really a, a heavy hitter out of one of these packs to kind of make it worth our while. That's it. That's how it goes. That's how this series is. I'm just opening one pack of every Masters pack until I get the goods. Anyway, Modern Masters 2013. Got a Fairy Macabre, a Frogmite, Hanakami, Fear Through Depths, Aether Spellbomb. Uncommons, Flicker Wisp, Mirror Retriever, Esperzoa, and a Maelstrom Pulse, and a Foil Echoing Courage. There we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scan this Flicker Wisp. I think it used to be worth a bit. Get the right edition. 78 cents. We'll leave it on there. Uh, the Retriever and the Esperzoa, I don't think so, but a Maelstrom Pulse. It's a sorcery for one, a black, and a green. Destroy all target non-land permanent and all other permanents with the same name as that permanent. It's a good token killer right there, right? 292, that's the ultimate version. We'll switch it to the original. It's been reprinted a few times. 350. There we go. 
And I don't think that foil is going to be worth much. So there we go. Next up, Modern Masters 2017. Chandra's Outrage. Look how outraged she is right there. What is she so mad about? Law Keeper. The Skeens. The Madcap Skills. Tattermunge Witch. Azoria Signet. Unflinching Courage and a Simic Sky Swallower. Not a big one there. A Foil Urbis Protector as well. Yep, very much not big. 36 cents. Eh, different version. Do we care? It's not going to make a difference. It's actually even less. Alright, here we go. Next up is the Zipper Box 2015 Edition. I promise I have not already opened this up and planted something great in there. So now I've just assured that I'm going to find something great and you'll be suspicious of me, right? I sure hope so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fairy Rogue token. Let's see, is this token worth anything? It actually is. There you go, a buck for a token. Rampant Growth. The Affliction. You can tell like the printing difference between these. These are much glossier here in person. I don't know if you can tell it on the camera. Infection, just what we need right now. Sundering Vitae. A sickle slicer. We got an expedition map. That's a scanner. I would like it to scan. There we go. 384. Oh, I gotta switch that. I know, I know, I know. It takes a while. 422. Wow, very nice. Glass dust hulk. A dismember. There's another scannable. And we got a cryptic command. That's a that's a hit right there. A, uh, a foil would have been nice. So dismember is 242, and we got a foil vampire lacerator already looking a little bent up there. Cryptic command from Modern Masters, 2195 for the lore win. Let's go with the uh, which one is this? Yeah, 1899. There we go. There's our hit. Put this here or there or wherever I can show it off. There we go. Okay, next up, Modern Horizons. Yep. Yep. There we go. Alright, got a shapeshifter token. Got some Seb McKinnon art on this little thing here. Answered Prayers by Seb McKinnon. There it is, right? Let's make sure I'm on camera. There we go. I always put those in the token pile. Snow Covered Plane and a Goblin Engineer. Okay. Snow covered planes have come down quite a bit, of course. I'll pull it anyway. Goblin engineer and a goblin matron. Buck fifty for the engineer. Matron is. Isn't that a reprint? No, I think there's no reprints in this set, is there? It must be a reprint, right? Yeah, carrion feeder's a reprint. What am I thinking? All right, so thirty-five cents, nothing big. Carrion feeder. Thirty-seven cents. Yeah, exclude. And some commons, got some slivers. Phantom Ninja. There we go. Alright, Ultimate Masters. Oh wait, hold on. Did it do the... Nope, I never can. You guys have seen it. I just cannot open these packs. I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to go to pack opening school. Someday. Alright, Elemental Token. Hooting Mandrels and an Entomb. Very cool card. Just put anything from your library into your graveyard. Very cool. I realize I have not been reading the rares for half the time. Feel free to go back and do so. Entomb, $9.40. You got a Rogue's Passage, an Urban Evolution, and a Swift Reckoning. Fire Ice, some more commons. I don't think there's much really in the comment section here at this point for ultimate there it is okay masters 25 let's get something big right ah, come on cougar edict choking tethers guys to the moors this figure got a uncommon watch wolf Ordeal of Heliod, Brine Elemental, and a Niv-Miz at the Firemind. Nothing big. And a Foil Ambassador Oak. And a Stang Twin. Wow. 
I didn't realize Stang was in this set. And he makes tokens of himself. That's interesting. Niv Mizzet, the Fire Mine. Two, two blue and two red. Legendary Dragon Wizard flying whenever you draw a card. Niv Mizzet, the Fire Mine, de Fire Mine deals one damage to target creature or player. You can tap him to draw a card. He's a 4 4 flyer. And he's worth 99 cents. So there it is. My good cards was in Tomb and Cryptic Command. And we had a lot of fun on the way. So thanks for tuning in, Tragic MTG. Make sure to like and subscribe, check out my other videos, and catch you on the next one.